Good afternoon. My name is Louis Mancuso from BristelAircraft.com and I have Rich Masana with me. And today we're going to show you an oil change on the Rotax engine. Proceed, Richard. He's uh, removing the cap and then he will uh, burp the engine. It's very critical that the engine is turned the way it normally runs. So this way it's counterclockwise and he'll turn that till we hear a gurgle. There's your gurgle. So now we know the oil is drained from the tank, from the engine, back into the tank. Then he will, uh, he is already... 17 and a 19 millimeter wrench. Okay. He's already pre-cut the safety wire to save a little time. have our three liters of oil to go in, which is 3.1 quarts. He has his uh, fresh crust gasket that will go back on. He has his safety wire to safety wire the nut when he's done. And he has his uh, torque wrench because he needs 19 foot pounds, 228 inch pounds to uh, torque the nut when he's done. He's just uh, Up here. When he's done draining the oil, he will uh, replace the filter. We'll show you how that's done and how you post the tighten it. Okay, the oil's out. That's going back in. With the top wrench, uh, 228 inch pounds, 19 foot pounds. And he'll safety it after the video is over to save a little time, but he's going to tighten that to the prescribed 228 inch pounds. After he takes the oil filter off, he'll apply a small film of oil on the new oil cooler to help it seal better. And then uh, it gets, after it's loosely put on, it gets turned 270 degrees and it's hand tightened. There's a film of oil on the oil cooler. oil cooler coming off. The oil needs to be changed every 50 hours if you're using 93 octane premium auto fuel. And if you use uh, 100 low lead, the lead content in the oil requires uh, more frequent oil changes. You have to change every 25 hours and occasionally you have to, uh, every 100 hours, desludge the uh, oil tank because some sludge will build up if you use 100 low lead all the time. If you use 93 octane premium auto fuel with uh, as much as 10% ethanol, you won't get uh, sludge and you don't have to de sludge the canister. Now, Rich is tightening this by hand to the point where you see the back metal seals. Once those metal seals match, you know the oil filter is now touched and we have a piece of tape or marking that he's putting at the uh, 12, 12 o'clock position and then he's going to spin that on to the 270 degree spin with a 9 o'clock position and uh, 
there's our tape at nine o'clock, and that's how tight it needs to be. And very important to remove the oil filter and put the new oil filter on as soon as possible to eliminate an abundant amount of oil coming out of the oil pump. Okay, so that's the critical part, that that oil filter goes right on and that the oil gets replaced immediately. We're now going to replace the oil because it needs to be done immediately. We don't let it drain overnight. We just, we drain it and get it in right away. And then uh, when he's finished putting in his three liters, 3.1 quarts, the oil change will be done. He'll safety wire the pin. And that's the oil change on the Rotax 912 ULS. This is Lou Mancuso for Bristol Aircraft.com and Rich Masano. Happy flying.